What I love about teaching is being able to help people and see them come in with very limited skills and then progress into a working career which sometimes spans most of their life. They start off with OHS, which is Occupational Health and Safety, to ensure that they are aware of some of the hidden dangers which are in every engineering workshop. They have hand tools, power tools, they do machining courses, uh, and they use a very broad range of machinery uh, from pedestal drills to grinders to centre lays and right up to the pinnacle of our machines, which is a computer numerical control lathe. Every part of the training is part of the test. Uh, it can be your practical work, which you complete, whether you make a scriber or a bar bender, that's all part of the assessment. And we also have theoretical parts to back up the practical. They do get credits for it, and that will actually shorten their training time within an apprenticeship. They do arc welding and MIG welding, and they also use the oxyacetylene and also a profile cutter. There's a really big broad range there for that on the fabrication side of it. They can go into the mines, offshore welding, underwater welding. The ones who are in the trade, they're in demand. And the more specialist skills, the more post-trade skills you get after your apprenticeship, the more you are in demand. Because if you become a very proficient welder, you can make some very good dollars. We use a fair bit of trigonometry, uh, which is working out angles and lengths. The engineering mechanical side, we do a higher level mass, uh, but anybody who does struggle with the mass, we give them a lot of support. When someone does an assessment and they're not quite up to the level they are required to be, what we can do, we do give them additional revision and we go over the questions with them to ensure that they do have a good understanding of the theoretical side of it so as they can match it with their practical side. We allow them at times, if they're ahead, to come and work a bit on their motorbikes and, and their push bikes and their various things, their cars. We do little bits and pieces of machining to add to that. Australia-wide there is a skill shortage in engineering, and which means in the future there's going to be a job there for you.